and you decided to change that into meters, that's probably a good idea. Um, although, I mean, uh, what, what, uh, yeah, that's often a good idea. What, what are kind of standard units for lambda? I, I, well, I mean, what are the uh, what are usual convenient it's units? It's centimeters, or millimeter? For light. Oh, nanometers. Nanometers. Light is usually in nanometers, right? Uh, well, probably this is not nanometers over here. Um, so probably the, the so you don't have to use meters. You just have to use the same units for both of these. But it's probably it is probably simplest to convert them both into meters. So you're right. It's usually probably simplest to convert them both into meters. Uh, a lot of times, although you know, a lot of times what you mainly care about is the wavelength. So then it would be nice if the answer came out in nanometers. Yeah. So maybe we should convert this to nanometers. All right. Or, of course, you could always get the answer in meters and convert back, whatever is convenient. The important thing is remember to do the unit conversions at the beginning of the problem. Uh, otherwise, it's easy to forget. Um, a lot of these problems are not that difficult. A lot of these problems are not that difficult um, if you watch out for a couple traps. And one of the traps is forgetting the unit conversions. So all the distances have to be in the same units. OK. Um, so let's go ahead and do this calculation. you have your calculator? Just do it in the centimeters or the meters? Uh, let's do it in meters. I think your first instinct was a good one. So 1.25 tenths to the negative. What variable is that going to be? D. Yeah, we just figured out D. So 0 0.01 meters divided by 800 is 1.25 times 10 to the negative fifth meters. And what would you do with that? Well, you just plug and chug into the formula now. All right, we just went over the hardest thing for multiple slip problems. Uh, oftentimes, one of the only obstacles to multiple slip problems is just figuring out D. So they're almost never going to tell you D directly on a multiple slip problem. So uh, let's say we've got uh, 700 slits per millimeter. Um, what information does that number give us? Let's go ahead and figure that out. Yeah, so you translate it into meters. So you always have to make sure you're doing the right conversions. Well, here we have uh, 1,000 millimeters in the meter. So you would end up with uh, 10 to the negative 3 meters over 700, uh, or 0 0.001 meters. And then that gave you 1.43 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. Is that what you got? Yeah. All right, and what would probably be the next thing to do on the problem, on a multiple slit problem? What would we do with this? Yeah, that's C. So then you'd want to, well, it depends what other, to find, like how do we find the other variables? Yeah, sorry, it's kind of a weird question. The point is, now you plug that into your formula. We just really have one key formula here, which is uh, for the bright spots. D sine theta equals M lambda. So you just plug that straight into here. And hopefully they would have told you two of the other variables. Then you can solve for the third one. If they've given you two of the other variables, you can solve for the third one. Um, it's pretty obvious, I think, if they tell you what theta is, because they have to give you an angle. How would they tell you what m is? What would be some wording they could use for that? Order. They could say, say, third order, so that m would be, yeah. Um, or or they, could say, um, they could say that they're focusing on the fourth bright spot. Well, then what would m be? OK, that's right. So there's a couple different ways they could phrase M. They could, uh, so in this case, uh, I mean that by that, the fourth bright spot from the center. Right? Obviously, there's a bright spot at the center, but they would say the fourth bright spot above the center. So the bright spot, so what's the M for the bright spot that's at the center? Zero. Yeah. That's pretty obvious. When M is 0, theta is 0, because you're going straight ahead. And then the third bright spot from the center, M would be 3. OK. And then they, um, they might tell you the wavelength. And again, you might have to translate this into uh, consistent units to be consistent with your D. Or you might try to figure out the wavelength. So that's pretty much what you do with uh, multiple slits. So a lot of it is just plugging and chugging. And one of the hardest steps is just figuring out how to make this into a D. So that's the key thing you don't want to lose in your notes. When you have multiple slits, they don't tell you D. They tell you the number of slits per, per millimeter, per centimeter, and then we can make that into D. Okay. Okay.
and then they, um, they might tell you the wavelength. And again, you might have to translate this into uh, consistent units to be consistent with your D. Or you might try to figure out the wavelength. So that's pretty much what you do with uh, multiple slits. So a lot of it is just plugging and chugging, and one of the hardest steps is just figuring out how to make this into a D. So that's the key thing you don't want to lose in your notes. When you have multiple slits, they don't tell you D, they tell you the number of slits per, per millimeter, per centimeter, and then we can make that into D. Okay. Uh, remember again that if you're using a, so uh, if you're, what would happen if you're using white light? Again, you would get a bunch of little rainbows for multiple slits, just like with two slits. You would get a bunch of different rainbows. Because again, um, the different colors have different lambdas, so their bright spots will have different thetas. So the, um, even if two, even if two uh, wavelengths have the same M, they're going to have different lambdas, so they'll have different thetas. So the first bright spot for the red, again, is the first bright spot for the red going to be further from the center or closer to the center than the first bright spot for the violet? Because right. red has the biggest wavelength, so it's going to have the biggest theta. Again, these are sometimes called diffraction gratings. I'm not quite sure exactly what the word diffraction means. Somehow, I can't put my finger on it. 